What's good, YouTube? This your boy T World back at y'all again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you butt drop some heat. In today's video, I will be turning Kanye West into a Terminator or a robot, whatever you want to call it, man. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to set the pressure on our pen. You know what I'm saying? Change these two numbers to three. And to be able to get that pressure option, you gotta have a digital art tablet, man. I'm using a Wacom Cintiq, the, I think it's the 22 inch. So you can't get the pressure option on Adobe Illustrator if you're not using a digital art tablet. Okay, first thing we finna do, man, I'm finna approach this piece. Really just be creative. I'm gonna make a bold outline around the entire head. So I made my brush like a three point, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm finna do first. I'm gonna trace the entire outline. Make it very bold. And also make sure you're closing off your lines, you know what I'm saying? Closing off your lines, bro. Let's see. Come up here. Going around like this. Dang. We're going to come over here. Do the same thing. I'm going to connect this line. See, I'm trying to keep the same consistency with the line, too. Like, I'm trying to make all the... Just around the entire head look even and sharp at the same time. Also, if you need... um. If you want to start making smoother lines, what you should do, double click your brush and you can move the smoothness up. Now, what this is going to do is going to help you correct any imperfections that you will make with jitters when you're moving or if you're nervous or you don't know how to make a straight line. All you got to do is move this knob this way. But if you don't need help and you don't need the correction inside of the program to help you out to make cleaner lines, you can move it back this way. But I like to keep mines in the center. You know what I'm saying? So hit OK. Let's go ahead and close this head all like this. And go ahead and come over like this. So we just need a good outline of everything. Keep in mind, like I said, we finna turn yay to a goddamn android. Robot. Let's see. Go ahead and draw just a basic outline. Let me. It's a little smoother. Another tip too, if you need help making smoother lines, the quicker you flow through, I help you make a clean line. You know what I'm saying? So if you just taking your time you will have a better chance to do like some mistakes. But if you just flow through and you just go real quick, like a zoom, you will uh, have smooth lines. It's just like doing graffiti, man. When you're doing street art, what they'll teach you is if you learn it under somebody, just to go through real quick and you'll make a real clean line. So. And it did way like that. Wait, let me see. Go back. If you want to delete something, Control Z. That's how you delete something. Delete a mistake. You feel me? I'm just gonna make his eyes. Oh no, no, no. We ain't gonna make his eyes like that. We gonna make his eyes robots. I gotta keep in mind we still doing a doing a yay as a robot so go ahead and start turning him into oh, fucking terminator i like drawing i like drawing robots man let me see 
Terminators. Real. On over like this. I'm down like this. I'm up. One thing I know about art too, just being creative. Like when you ain't putting so much pressure on yourself and you just flowing through, that's how you make some dope work. And that's how you enjoy doing art. Like don't put too much pressure on it. Don't don't have a super high expectation. Just have just have fun, you know what I'm saying? And create. When I be drawing, I don't even be thinking about the outcome. I just be trying to enjoy myself as I draw. Let's go up like this. Bring it back like that. Ooh. Come up like this. Gonna bring a line straight across his forehead. This. We're gonna come over like this. Boom. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Alright, come up like this. Going through, man. Yay, bot. So crazy. I should add, yeah. We gonna draw his uh his whole little beard, but it's it's he a robot. I'm just trying to think. Everything gotta be sharp. So and it's like this. Come down. And this will go like this. I'm just trying to imagine what he'll look like if he was a bot. So that's when your creative side come into play. You know what I'm saying? But also, as you being creative, try to try to stay going a certain speed. So don't allow yourself to think about an idea for too long. Just rush through. Whatever comes to your mind first, that's what you go with. So this can be an exercise, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a good practice, a good habit to get in, trying to come up with things quicker. Let's see, put the little eyeball. We're gonna do it like this. Let's put it like this. Boom. A little robot eye. We're gonna bring this. We're gonna bring this like that. You know what I'm saying? It's already looking fine. Feel me? Alright. We're gonna make his eyebrows like this. Come up, come up like this. Look, all right. Come up like this. All right. Yay, but this shit looking hard already. All right. Still got to trying to make things look sharper because we want to keep that mechanical vibe going. And it's over. This. And it's over. What we can do. Make like a hole in his ear like this. It's a knob or something. Just trying to be creative as possible, you know what I'm saying? That's all art is. I think it's just a form of expression, knowing how to express yourself. 
and understanding <clears throat> there's no right or wrong way to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say when you are uh, creating and you're trying to come up with ideas, try to be fast. You know what I'm saying? Don't think about it. Just express yourself. Whatever, whatever comes to mind first, that's what you go with. Allow yourself to be to be free in your creativity. You know what I'm saying? Like without it being so premeditated. Going with the flow. Going with the flow, you vim. You vim. Alright. Bring this back. That boy, yay. Y'all gonna see a lot of these type pictures too, cause just like I said, I like drawing robots and futuristic type stuff. So be prepared to see a lot of different celebrities and athletes and stuff as robots. looking at a uh I am looking at a reference of the uh terminator head but I'm also doing my own little thing as well so I'm looking at it but I'm improvising so just remember when you got a reference you don't have to follow it to a T you just follow it to get some inspiration like some quick some quick inspiration you know what I'm saying Cool to have a reference, but still at the same time, do you. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring this. Bring this up right here. Like this. Like that. Like this. I ain't coming out play, man. No way. I want this. I want this nose to look more uh, mechanical. So we gonna we gonna add this little line right here, just so we can see that it got shape to it. Also, right here. Put this curve like this. What I can do is I can draw this up like that. Do another little curve like this. And bam. Now we're gonna put okay, make sure we got. We got it. We pretty much got the yay laid out. So go ahead and start. I call this part just the basic laying everything out. And because once I finish this, this one I, after I get done with just the, the hard line work, like the bold line, I like to go in with finer details. So we almost finished with all the, the bold line work. Then I'm going to make my brush smaller and start adding little things to give it a little more flavor. You know what I'm saying? Put a, a gear in his jaw. Like these. And we're going to stop it right there. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to put a gear right here like these. And we're going to create a little boat that keep this gear together. Like that. And we're going to create a little line right here. 
then okay that's another little another little gear right here make this line come up also we're gonna um we're gonna make this go thicker like that What I'm doing, bring this right here. Also, bring this up like this. And I want to add like a, I want to add like a wire going through it. Get it through the wire. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Gotta get y'all little bars, little wire. We're gonna wrap a wire around this uh this little gear thing right here. So we'll come up this way. Wrap that cord around this. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Then um finish bringing this gear on up like this. Like a little ball right there. Bring that back this way. We're gonna make this cord come right here. This. We're gonna bring that down. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna. It's coming together, man. Come together. All right, let's go ahead and make a harsh jawline. Go down right here. Come up like this. Let me try that again. Oh, snap. Come like this. Gonna come up right here. We're gonna stop it like that. Make a bridge, make another bridge, go up like that. Start that jawline. Make a little pocket go like this. Then make this come over. This can be a little curve. Okay, cool. I wonder, did I? I did it that way. Okay, yeah. A lot of these pieces don't gotta make sense. You know why? Cause uh, with it being with so with with the picture already having so much going on, people ain't really gonna focus on uh pieces that really look like it don't lead to nothing. It all gonna look like it actually works together. You know what I'm saying? So. You gotta be creative. When you're doing like any type of robot type art, you just fill up the whole, the whole little face with parts. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna look like it's making sense. Cause your eyes ain't gonna be able to focus on one piece with it just being a collage of things going on. So that's why I just try to fill it up different parts and they give you the illusion like dang these parts can actually work together you know what I'm saying you're just trying to make it look cool that's it that's, like, that's the goal anytime you're making some artwork the goal is just to make some dope dope work man so whatever you gotta do make it dope do that let me see we're gonna um we're gonna add this other side too let me go and put this gear put this gear over here like this mm. Mm. put this like this this like this this boat right here then turn this like this Turn this up like that. 
on this so there. okay go down like this more lines in here. Let's see. At least on the head part. Okay. Look and play up. What I'm 
finna do. I'm finna lock all my black lines. So I won't make a mistake. And like select them when I'm trying to just select the color around it. You know what I'm saying? So it's so, uh select this outer face. So we can get at a different different gray. Still keep that blue tint. Come with this. Grab all that. All right. Now we're gonna make we're gonna make this a darker gray because that's we want his uh eyebrows and his beard to stand out. Make it eyes red. I gotta do Boom, got his eyes red. Now we got dang yay back. You feel me? The official yay back. That. You know what I'm saying? Now that's just the base color. That's the base color we just added. So, go to this. You know what? Since this is like the inner rim, I can make this dark. And this part right here, this can be, all this can be dark too. So, Make that dark. Make this darker. Okay. Now we got the base of the layout, man. Now I'ma do like I'ma do like two shadow layers. And that'll be done. We'll be done with this whole picture. So wait. Let me um make a copy of our color layer. Drag it to the top. Move out this real quick. And I'm gonna delete this uh this brighter gray. Cause that's where I'm gonna put all my shadows at. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put all our shadows in that. So get all that. Back, back to our middle layer. We're gonna sample this color. We're gonna bring it down just a, we're gonna create a good shadow out of it. Hit OK. Go to my pencil tool. Let's get to it, man. So when, while I'm shading this picture, I'm trying to think of how would metal look, you know? So I'm not going in it like I would skin. I'm going in it like I would, you know, like I'm thinking of shading some metal. You know what I'm saying? Bring this over. I'm looking at the reference from Kanye regular photo. So I can know where to put some of these tones. But also, like, I gotta improvise, cause just like I said, we made a robot out of Kanye. So, one of these gonna have a little shine. And then, this up. Leave a little highlight spot like that. And this up. So this up. 
lot of little, lot of little highlight spots. Okay, cool. Bring this up. Okay. Bring this over. Looking crispy, man. Bring this over. Most of the time when I'm doing shading on some artwork, I just get a feeling for it, you know what I'm saying? So I start out slow, but once I get in cruise control, it just I just go with that feeling. So I think that's just something you pick up over time for just drawing for so long. It's that natural instinct to know when to like just go with the flow. some time to develop that you know what I'm saying I didn't just get that skill overnight just a lot of practice a lot of work thing about it man I'm gonna take some practice So we're gonna take some practice. Uh, 
gonna come with like a a darker tone a dark shadow by uh by a little robot Some, some, man. Man. 
Kanye West Terminator. One thing I want to add, though, I want to make his eyes glow. So before we get out of this piece, let's make his eyes shine. How are we going to do that? We're going to come to this little circle tool. We're going to get down. Selected. I'm gonna go to the blur tool. Move that blur up. Now, I'm gonna create. 
create us a, a white circle to put inside that red like this. Make sure both of those are selected. We're gonna create us another little blur, but we're gonna bring this one down so, so the edges will be blurred. All right, cool. Now we got Yay Terminator, man. Damn. So hard. Hit me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes and I'll drop another one. Leave in the comment section who you would like to see next. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out this thing.